Open house questions. Hello and welcome to Open House Questions, the show where we answer your questions that you had at Open House. Let's go to the first question. Ash, but why is the sky blue? Why is the sky blue? Why is the sky blue? According to UCR, a clear cloudless daytime sky is blue because molecules in the air scatter blue light from the Boring. sky. Boring! I really like this question, but I think it has a very interesting answer that we can figure out together. So, I have a question for you, Ellie. Is the sky always blue? For example, when it's sunset, what color is the sky? It looks kind of reddish, maybe purple, orange sky. Have you ever seen an orange sky? What about at nighttime when you can see stars that are billions and billions of light years away? I think that in order to see those stars, the sky would have to be clear, right? So what's changing, or in science what we'd say is what's the variable during the daytime during the sunset time and during the night time. We could say it's the position of the sun, right? Because if we're here, the sun is right above us, or maybe it's over here when it's sunrise and over here when it's sunset, but we know that the Earth rotates, the sun stays in one spot. So, really, this is the change. So we know that it's not just the sun that's causing the different colors. It's the sun affecting something with the angle of the Earth. Whoa! If the sun's over there, over here we see the sun from a different angle than we do when we're over here. So what on Earth could be changing the color of the sky? Is there something in the sky, perhaps? Take a look at this picture, Ellie. This is a picture of a mountain range in North Carolina called the Blue Mountains. And see how the mountains get more and more blue the further they get away? Why do you think that is? Is there maybe something in the air that as we get further and further away, there's more stuff in between us and those faraway mountains. Hmm. 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 Okay, now take a look at this piece of glass. It looks very clear from this angle, but when you put it this way, it looks kind of green, doesn't it? And this way it even looks darker green. My theory is when the light comes in this way, it only has to go through that much glass. When it comes in this way, it has to go through that much glass. And when it comes in this way, it has to go through that much glass. And so when we look through it, we're seeing a lot more glass, making it more green. That wasn't enough for me, so I had to look it up even further. So I'm gonna try to draw out what I found out in a piece of paper right here. So here we'll make the Earth, and we'll make the Sun, and we'll make the sunlight coming to the Earth. And what I found out was that sunlight is actually made up of a bunch of different light waves. And the light waves, depending on how big they are, make us see different colors. So a big, big, long light wave we see is red a kind of long light wave we see more as like an orange and 
then a yellow, and then the shorter light waves we see as greens, and the really short light waves we see as blue. So, there's also something in the air, um, mostly nitrogen and oxygen. That's why when we breathe in, we go, mm, oxygen. And these molecules in the air happen to be just the right distance apart from one another that these short, short light waves, when they try to go in through it, they just bounce right off. Now the big, long, red light waves, they're not affected by it. They just go right through. But those blue ones, they can't handle it. They keep on bouncing right off. So, so if we're standing on one part of the Earth and we have the atmosphere of air around us, so that's me, that's you, Ellie, with a pillow on your head, when it's nighttime, the air doesn't even get us. The Earth is blocking the light, right? So we can see straight up to the moon and where the stars are. When it's daytime, the light comes straight down, right through that very thin layer of atmosphere. And so it bounces all off and we see all those blue light waves. But when it's sunset or sunrise, the light has to go through all that extra atmosphere and all that extra air. And so all that extra air bounces all the blue away. And so all we get to see are those big, long light waves. And so it changes this color of the sky. And that's why the sky is blue. Stuff in the air bounces blue light waves. When it gets the angle of the earth, it changes it so we cannot see all the blue light waves and we only see the other light waves, which are red and orange and all those cool, pretty ones. Yeah.